The Right 430 Challenge is made up of a team of, of a team of 50 to 60 great Americans that get together every single year from all walks of life. The thing that they have in common is that they're all bound by a very common cause, and that is the desire to take care of those that have been injured, those that have sacrificed, and those in the military that need our help. Each year these people get together, they train for months on end while still maintaining families, jobs, they ride literally thousands of miles in preparation for the ride in October that we do in honor of our heroes. When we get to October, the team will ride 430 miles over a three and a half day time period, this year with more than 16,000 feet of vertical climbing. For the first time ever in Ride 430 Challenge history, we'll actually be having an airman with us by the name of Ryan Penny, who was injured, and we'll actually be doing the ride on a hand cycle. Probably one of the most inspirational things that I've ever seen since I've been involved with this. Megan and I have known each other for about five, six years now. Um, I just remember the first time I met her, she was awesome, she was beautiful, <laughs> she was great, you know. Uh, when the injury happened on July 15th, 2012, um, it was uh, probably one of the most difficult days uh, of my life, not because I got hurt, but because we were engaged to be married, we were supposed to be married six months later, and I felt like I had ruined it, you know, I felt like it wasn't going to happen, and um, that's all I could think of when I was on the stretcher. Um, I don't get emotional about the injury at all, even though it sucks, um, except when I think of think of her. Um, because even through that day, through the hospital, through physical therapy, she's been by my side, and there's been no question that she would ever be by my side. And I think you know her, uh, you know, for being for being there. And I couldn't ask for a better partner. My name is Russell Mote, and I'm the father of Sky Mote. Uh, he was killed in combat uh, last uh, year, and uh, this ride is a great healing process for us to be around uh, other uh, special operators like my son, uh, and uh, just do good for others. I, it's just. Uh, it's really emotional, it's really exciting uh, to be with other uh, wounded warriors and, and to help them out and just uh, see the, all the good that's going on here. This is the hardest ride I've ever done. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. <laughs> My greatest inspiration has been uh, to, to meet the Marines that have come back. Um, Ronnie Porta, Angel Gomez, and, and several others that have had life-changing injuries. And the fact that they're able to come back and they're able to rally around with a group and, and do things that they may not have ever been able to do had they not been injured. So the, the, the power of the healing and the power of this group and what it brings to everybody's life is, is it, it affects everybody deeply. And On June 14th of 2012, I was injured in the opening moments of a firefight in Afghanistan. I was leading my special operations team on a patrol to the Helmand River Valley. And in the opening moments of the engagement, uh, the sergeant to my left and myself were struck by uh, rounds from the enemy. The first round uh, went through my sergeant. Uh, he was shot through the neck, and the second round entered my shoulder, and the bullet traveled down to my spine, where it lodged itself in between my T6 and T7 vertebrae. I was instantly paralyzed. Since the Ride 430 challenge began, one of the challenges that we've had is raising awareness for the needs of our injured heroes. What a lot of people don't know is there's a lot of things that don't get taken care of by the government. The government's doing a great job in a lot of ways, but at times there's things that, that, that our injured heroes need. There's things that their families need. What a lot of people don't understand and what we have learned throughout this life journey is that when somebody gets injured, it involves the entire family. The entire family has to chip in to help. We've seen many times where the young wife of, a, of an injured warrior has had to quit her job just to take care of her husband on that road to recovery. We've seen young men get hurt where their parents had to leave their careers, stay home full time to take care of this young warrior. In May 5th, 2007, that's where I got injured. I was in a, a Humvee with two of my best friends. It was an ID. I, 
I, I was driving that day and I couldn't see anything and everything was just like a normal day to all of us. And, and I did destroy my truck, killing two, two of my friends and leaving me with severe burns, which took a long time for me to recover. Almost six and a half years of painful surgeries and therapies every single day. But I'm, I'm still alive. Our job, and the reason why we need the support of those people out there from both a corporate standpoint as well as just the individual donor, is so that we can raise funds, raise awareness for these people, and make sure that they are taken care of. Sometimes that need is adaptive equipment. Sometimes that need is a plane ticket to get to go see their family. Sometimes it's clothing. It can be any type of need, but anything that we can do to make that road to recovery easier for this young person that has made a sacrifice, we want to do. My name is Ryan Penny. Um, served in the Air Force, uh, active duty for six years, and uh, with the Arizona Air National Guard for approximately seven to, to eight, almost eight years, uh, as a boom operator. Uh, did a um, bit of combat, or uh, combat missions in the uh, Middle East. Uh, got uh, injured about a year, a little bit over a year ago. Broke uh, my T12 vertebrae and I got paralyzed from the, from the waist down. And incredibly, you know, a, a great organization that, to be honest with you, I didn't even know about. Donated a hand cycle, which has just been an unbelievable blessing to me so that I could get out here and, and, and ride with, uh, with Ride 430 and this incredible team. Um, get out and be active again. And that's, that's just been just more than I could even uh, ask for, to be honest with you. So the message I'd like to send to, uh, to everyone listening is that uh, the government supports veterans and they're, they're phenomenal at doing so, um, but there's a significant uh, opportunity for benevolent support, um, whether it's with the Marsoc Foundation or the Ride 430 Foundation or whatever foundation uh, of your choosing, there are still other opportunities for you to help out. Um, for instance, one of the, the, the things I pursue now is uh, I do therapy at a place called Project Walk in Carlsbad, California, and uh, they've somewhat revolutionize the way that spinal cord injuries are treated and, and recovered uh, but because it's so new it's, it's not covered by any insurance or by the government and this is something that the Marshstock Foundation has, has helped me out with and uh, been able to sponsor um, and help help me personally assist on my own road to, road to recovery. Uh, After seeing all, all the riders and see what they do they change changed my life. You know they, they, they helped me realize that not everyone was just looking outside of me, but I had a lot of people interested looking in the inside. So that changed my life. The donations that you give to us, the donations that you make, the assistance you give us, that goes directly to change people's lives. We think it creates miracles in some cases. What we've seen from these donations has been unbelievable, and the changes that it's made Really, we could, talk for, we could talk for hours about those changes and what we've seen on this ride. We thank everybody for their donations. Whether the donation is $5, $10, whatever it is, it goes to make a difference. And for that, we're thankful for everyone's support. You know, a lot of people have asked me, what happens with the ride 430? When does it end? Uh, when is it over? In my opinion, our mission ends when we get a call from one of the charities that we support and they say, John, we no longer have anyone that's injured. We no longer have anybody that needs your help. Until the day we get that phone call, the Ride 430 Challenge, our mission continues. We continue to fight the good fight. We continue to tell the story of those heroes that have been lost. And we continue to help and assist those, those heroes that, that need our help.